Today is the first video of this series from my trip to Venice, Italy, and in this video I will show my preparation for the trip as a photographer, and also I will show a little bit of background, how I make a photographs, what I'm thinking about, and I will show a little bit of scans from this trip, and in the next videos we will print it in a darkroom, we will make a C41 development of the rolls of the film, what I make in this trip, and also we will discuss a little bit the difference uh, between the scans and the prints, and it's a lot of different stop what they can you know discover in this series so stay tuned and welcome to the first video for the last years i actually take only one camera with me it's my leica m42 and as additional camera i can take hasselbat but because i want to be light on this trip and i don't want to spend a lot of time with the setting up the shots and it will be more or less street photos i take only 50 millimeter lens five rolls of kodak 200 and pack everything in this wrap and put it in my backpack. And usually before trips I replace my battery in my exposure meter because the indicator doesn't show anything at all. And as the last points I usually take a tripod and small cable release. And with everything packed in my backpack I take a direct train from Munich, Germany to Venice, Italy. In the modern times actually trips in the trains much better than the flights. And you can see different seasons starting from the snow and ending with the summer. Unfortunately in this video it's impossible to show all the photos what I make in this trip. But trust me, best of them we will print in darkroom in future. And because I arrived in Venice close to the night and it was almost nothing to see, I just relax a little bit in the city and the channels, take a traditional bite of pizza in the evening and go for the sleep. And on the next morning I have an excellent weather, beautiful sun and amazing sky. So let's unpack my camera from the backpack. In the past I travel a lot with the photo bags and all kind of a things. But for now I try to keep everything extremely minimal and I can just use a one film camera and I don't shoot digital at all. So I can travel extremely light with a one camera, one lens and my phone. And in these types of trips, it's much better to start with something and start exposing the first roll. And the first shot is a photo of the patio in my hotel. It's quite beautiful, renovated building, close to the shore and connected with the channels. And because it's my first time in Venice, I have no idea where to go, so my path is usually like chaotic. And I create the compositions on the fly and just take pictures of what I see. And because it's a morning, it's not really bright at the moment, so it's f4 on 125th. And I still have a good portion of the contrast on the pictures. And for now it looks like ideal balance between the lights and shadows. And the colors really pop up because it's a morning light. And you know the sun is always beautiful close to the shore and especially in Italy. And Venice is completely not what I expect. So from the first day I already can see I can make a lot of pictures with the details, with the different buildings, with the compositions of the people, with the strangers, with the different types of boats. And there's a huge variety of photo content here. Usually my trips is more or less relaxed endeavors. So it's a lot of coffee places, different types of food, walks around the city and taking the pictures of what you see around you. And this is also why I'm liking the film, because it's not distracting from enjoying the environment. And just later you're trying to make a memory and create the same vibe on the pictures, what you saw in real life. With the experience and traveling only with the film cameras and don't take uh, any digital pictures only with the phone, I'm pretty confident with my workflow and because I'm developing it myself and scan it myself, I have a full control on the looks of my photos and I'm actually getting it really fast. In the midday here in Venice I get crazy high contrast and I was not all the time sure if I can fit the exposure latitude in my pictures. And what I like about the positive film, it's not really clipping the highlights, it's actually compressing the highlights and the effect is completely different from the digital cameras and this is exactly what I like. You can emulate it a little bit, but the looks and physics of the process is completely different. And don't forget, it's all about the enjoyment of the process. I don't know why and I actually don't need the explanation anymore. But I just like the analog process, shooting with the film, develop it myself and print it in a darkroom. It gives it much more joy, 
So usually it means you shoot more and it's directly connected to BR Better Photographer. I'm totally not against the digital, but the film is my medium of choice. So let's go back a little bit with the discussion of Venice. It's really a strange city, it looks a little bit artificial. For example, this type of boat is actually delivery. And you also can find some kind of Amazon delivery here from the boats. For some reason I have a strange idea in mind that this is only touristic city and you have no people living there. And I was quite surprised and shocked because at the moment it's kind of a, like zero tourist and I take advantage of this type of traveling at the moment. And you can take this type of pictures with the almost empty streets. And also this trip is connected to my birthday. So I get a lot of random cakes with the candles and it's really fun. I don't remember the name of this cone pastry, but all the pastry in Italy is just amazing, especially with the lemon taste. For the street shots I prefer 50mm and this is only lens what I have for my Leica M42. It's crazy fast lens, but most of the time I actually use it completely closed on f11 or f8 and use a hyperfocal distance and just use a sunny 16 rule most of the time. So my exposure and focusing it's extremely simple and you need to focus only on the framing and the composition itself. So you spend most of the time to choose the proper frame and make a symmetry right. And after three years of using my Leica and traveling around like four or five countries on this period, I can totally say this is a really comfortable camera which not bother you and you can enjoy the trip itself and enjoying the environment. And for some reason like works like nobody see you on the street and nobody cares what you're actually doing. Maybe it's just because you're not blocking the full face and blocking only one eye. So we can only describe it as like a magic. So let's finish up this video with a small chicchetti in wine. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching and see you in the next videos from this series or a different one.